What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, LC, and I'm back with another... I guess this will be a tutorial. I'm going to show you how to get live drum loops or how to uh, make a live drum loop if you don't have live drums, but you can get your hands on loops. I'm going to show you how to manipulate those to sound how you want them to sound. First things first, you got to find a drum loop. So let's find a drum loop. I got a bunch of drum loops. They I don't know where they came from. They popular drum loops. Some ain't popular drum loops, but... Alright, so that one sound like a cool drum loop to use. And what I'm gonna do is show you how I get live drum loop sounds. Cause everybody don't be wanting trap, trap drums or whatever you call it. So I'm gonna trim this by highlighting this little area right here and then hit this button, trims it. Now I got that and all right so now boom i think a lot of people make their packs like this too um when they making a drum kits and packs they do something similar to this but now i got a kick right i'm gonna drag the kick right in there so you see those kicks sound totally different and now I'm going to take that kick, and that's going to be my secondary kick, backup kick, whatever you want to call it. And boom. So we're going to take that kick, and we're going to drop it on the track below. Look like a little blip right there. Let's get that out of there. Take stretch off, and then trim that. Now let's see. That's a snare. I'm going to take this snare and so we got that snare and we're going to put the snare down here. It was a hi-hat. We're going to take, so basically I think y'all get what's going on here. You basically taking these one by one that's a hi-hat we're gonna put that back there let's see if we can find another hi-hat so the hi-hats all sound the same sucks right so what you can do is Go ahead and the hell is going on with Fruity Loops? All right, go ahead and trim that hi hat. So let's start with the hi hats first. Let's get to a hip hop type of BPM. So. About 82, 83, let's do 83. So now we got, all right. Now, it's a lot of clicking going on, right? So what you want to do is go in here and you can go here and fade it out. And you might want to do that for every sample. Just fade it out, fade it out. 
fade it out. Boom. Right. So now, the original loop, it shouldn't be too far from the scene. So, this is what we got. And it's doing that start over thing because I don't have anything right here. So you would just drag this to the line to stop it from doing that. And now you got Now you got a, a, a live drum loop and you know you just changed it up a little bit. Now you could just go ahead and add whatever you want, any type of loops. Let's see. Find some loops. How about ill mine uh MP3s? Alright, so we're going to use that just for the sake of this tutorial. Now we're going to find a loop here. Once again, first thing you want to do is highlight that little bit, trim it. It's right here. Alright, so you got that. Drag that in. And you're gonna hit the stretch button. And it's really this easy. Make sure that it's a bar. Let me see. So, get your drums, you start them on the second um, half, and there you go, boom. You can add a bass line, whatever you want to do, but that was just for this tutorial. That's how you get the live drums, and let's see how it sounds. And so you guys see how you can do that better. I see, uh, I can hear that some of the samples from the, the drum loop are in one ear or the other ear, but you get the gist that you can basically chop up those old school drums, those old school live drums, and make them, you know, groove how you want them to groove by chopping them up and then add a loop or a sample behind that and now you got you a good beat you just need to add a bass line and you good to go um thank y'all for watching hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and i see y'all again on the next video